Hey, what's up, guys? So today we're going to look at base SI units again. We're going to convert units into base SI units, which, if you remember from last video, are moles, kilograms, kelvin, meters, seconds, amps, and candela. And every single unit in physics can be expressed in terms of one of these seven base SI units. The process is really important that we always follow the same process when we're doing this in the exam. So we're going to start off with the Newton. So we start with the equation F equals MA. Always choose the most basic equation you can think of. And we can say that one Newton is one kilogram times by one MS to the minus two, which leaves us with one Newton is one kilogram MS to the minus two. Really important to get the Newton because it is really useful for some of these others that are going to follow. So looking at number two, the joule. The joule is the unit of energy. So we're going to choose a really simple formula for energy. Work. Work is equal to force times by distance. One joule is equal to one Newton times by one meter. We've already done the Newton in number one, so we're just going to substitute in from number one. So one joule is one kg ms to the minus two times by one meter, which when we use our rules of powers, one joule is one kilogram meter squared seconds to the minus two. Really easy. So again, we're going to keep following this same process of just choosing the formula and substituting in base SI units. So power. Power is work or energy divided by time. So we can say that one watt is equal to one joule divided by one second. We've got the joule from number two. So one watt is equal to one kilogram m squared s to the minus two divided by seconds. Just got to be careful of the powers here. Remember that we're dividing by seconds. So one watt is equal to one kilogram meter squared seconds to the minus three. There we go, done. All of the units are in base SI units, kilograms, meters, and seconds. Looking at the Pascal, Pascal, you should remember, is the unit of pressure. So we go to the formula for pressure, which is pressure is force divided by area. So one Pascal is equal to one Newton divided by one meter squared. You can see here that the Newton is not in base SI units, so we're going to substitute from equation number one. We're going to say that one Pascal is equal to one kilogram meter squared, meter second to the minus two divided by meter squared, which leaves us with one Pascal is one kilogram m to the minus one seconds to the minus two. Last few equations. We're going to switch to some electrical ones now, and we're going to use the Coulomb. So charge is equal to current multiplied by time. One coulomb is equal to one amp times by one second. So one coulomb is one amp second. The volt, this is a tricky one because people always forget this equation, that work is equal to potential difference times charge, or potential difference is work or energy divided by charge. So one volt is equal to one joule divided by one coulomb. We've got the joule from number two, so one volt is 1 kg m squared s to the minus 2 divided by 1 amp second. Very simplifying that through gives us 1 volt is 1 kg m squared amps to the minus 1 seconds to the minus 3. Just being careful with the powers on the seconds there. Resistance. Resistance is potential difference or voltage divided by current. So 1 ohm is equal to 1 volt divided by 1 amp. So 1 ohm is 1 kg m squared amps to the minus 1 seconds to the minus 3 divided by 1 amp. Using our rules of indices, that leaves us with 1 ohm is 1 kilogram meter squared amps to the minus 2 seconds to the minus 3. Just going to show you one from A2 now, which is the farad. And the farad is the unit of capacitance. And capacitance is defined as the, the charge stored per unit potential difference. So one farad is one coulomb per one volt. And now we're just going to substitute in from number five and number six and say that one farad is one coulomb, which is one amp second, divided by one volt, which is one kilogram, m squared, amps to the minus two, seconds to the minus three. You just have to be really careful here with the indices. Remember that one farad is one amp cubed seconds to the power of four, kilograms to the power of minus one, and meters to the power of minus two. And there we have it, a farad in base SI units. This is a really important skill, and it all comes back to the fact that we have these standard 
SI units, which are used to measure everything. And we can take any other unit and derive the base SI units just by using the formula and substituting them really carefully and watching the rules of indices. Just remember, you've always got to end up with moles, kilograms, Kelvin, meters, seconds, amps, or candela. But quite often, it's generally just going to be kilograms. So I'll highlight the ones that come up very often, meters, seconds, and amps. Really simple, really important, and it's easy marks in your exam.